What's up guys, it's Punchy, and today we're going to be talking about something you might have missed on Monday's Deep Vulcan patch. I think it was a pretty good change, and honestly, it might be one of the better ways to get loot. So let's talk about what happened at Fort Merritt and why you should be farming there. Before we start, go check out my last video where I talk about Soul Jar and its many uses. I think it's fun to mess around with and can be seriously viable, so if you haven't seen it, go watch that video now. If you like what I do, make sure to like and subscribe, and comment down below what you want to see next. Thanks and enjoy. Back in the old days of Rogue Lineage, many players didn't have much to do except wait for Deep Vulcan, and we waited a long Long time. During this waiting period, testers had dropped some videos about Fort Merritt being a very sneaky and difficult raid that had lore, was interactive, and most importantly, was giving out good loot. And when Deep Oaken dropped, it felt like Fort Merritt was cool, but there wasn't much to do. Luckily, in the recent patch, the devs have given us more of a reason to visit Fort Merritt. Starting off with the stuff that we already had, the hostage rewards from the boat down below give better loot items, which I'll get into, with less of a cooldown. Before the update, I believe you could turn in 3 hostages every hour, but now you can turn in 2 hostages every 10 minutes, which is great. They also added another drop from the Prison War that is uncommon, that's pretty good. Basically, they now have the option to drop something called a shipping schedule that provides a giant chest and mid XP if you turn it in at the Etrus boat. If you don't know how to turn in hostages, all you need to do is pick up the Etrus guard found within the prison and take it down to the boat down here. If you hit the limit for hostages, you'll now see dialogue telling you when you can do the quest again. Let's see if the new and improved loot is worth farming. During my test, I turned in 35 hostages and I was quite surprised with my loot. Keep in mind this is a small sample set and your luck could be different. And with this data, I honestly believe that Fort Merritt is one of the best places to farm for legendary rings because I got 3 finisher rings out of 35 chests, which is pretty damn rare. Also, it's worth mentioning that some of these exclusive codes found in Fort Merritt have very good stats. With the increased damage reduction rolling on items as a bonus stat, you can get the best stacked codes over here, and not to mention some of them are pretty drippy. If you're looking for armor and chance, this Fort Merritt farm isn't really the best move, but Flamekeeper Cestus or Rifle Spears are very easy to get, so this is the best chance for these enchanted items. I feel like the Authority and more lore factions should have more presence in Deep Bogan's current Luminant, but this is a step in the right direction. So that's all I got for you today and make sure you check it out yourself. Thank you for watching and if you enjoyed make sure to like and subscribe and have a good one.